Fox back it. So it's been a wild night tonight. 70 mile an hour winds, pouring rain. But hey ho, it's all part of the fun. So stay tuned. Out in the gonna put the hot tent up tonight. Uh, cook my Italian tonight. Uh, got this big kind of bread thing that I've made, so look forward to eating that. But right now, I'm going to get the tent set up, so like I say, stay tuned. set up so it's gonna be a blustery night tonight but it's all good fun so that's me getting the tent and set up the Pomley hex I've got the anime stove tonight just because it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild tonight uh, I'll take you in and show you my setup trying out the Leviathan 900 tonight look from OEX as well as that I've got my new climate uh, sleeping pad, so looking forward to spend the first night in that. It's supposed to be obviously insulated, so fingers crossed that'll keep me warm. Got a wee bit of wood cut up, get the stove all set up. So good to go. Right, we're here. So, who's first? Well, I reckon it's time for a wee cheeky fry up. Nothing too fancy. Two eggs, two bits of square sausage, two tatty scones, two morning rolls, and a wee bit of brown sauce. So, let's get cooking. Uh, right, I said let's get cooking, but I'm not going to get far if I don't light the stove first. Uh. Right, I'm not sure where my spoon is, so I'm just going to make myself a new spatula without a pillar. Boom. There we go. That'll do it. Oh, 
that's what I'm talking about. Good old square sausage. Huh? Fantastic. Right, what else were we flung in? I reckon that is scones and that still with. Last but not least, a couple of fried eggs. Oh, oh they're, they're a bust an egg, they're good. Hey, what do you think? Hey, it's ready. Oh yes, that looks good to me. Right, let's bang these into a couple of rolls. Looks good to me. So, fat square sausage, tatty scone, a couple of fried eggs and a wee bit of brown sauce. Time for the taste test. Bon appetit. Good job, boy. Alright, we'll get tore out of these, then I'll bring you back. Well, can't tell I. Those rolls were good. So, what time is it now? It's brew time. So, it's been a. Uh, it's not bad. I've got a whole walk to myself. Maybe to here. Brilliant. Peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. So, trails are brew. You know, talk for digestives. But that is no less. So, I'm just going to sit and dunk a few of these. Just sit out in the fresh air. Oh, lovely. Can you beat this, can you? Fantastic. So the night's yet young. Uh, a wee bottle of red tonight. And then I've got I'm gonna make the night. Spaghetti bolognese. So spaghetti bolognese. And then I've made a wait to see this. I'm not even going to tell you, you need to stay tuned to see what it is. Right. But I'm going to put something in my Dutch oven, as well as the spaghetti bolognese. You know me, bottomless pit. Mm. I just can't stop eating. I've had folks saying they think I've got worms. But you know what to say, can he fatten a thoroughbred? So, anybody else out? Comment below. Who's been out this weekend? Sorry, who was out at the weekend? Don't know if you saw my last video, but I was up there. I put that tree tent up. Good. Good back at. Something a wee bit different. Whereas, back out the trusty hex tonight, hot tent. Hot tent's getting pretty popular now. To the amount of folk that have got hot tents. So I think everybody's hoping for a cold winter. 
I just love, I just love camping all year round. So somebody's got to do it. Anyway, I think it's time for you know what. You know what? It's you know time. So what have we got tonight? We've got a wee yellow tail Merlot. We are still your number. That's right, mate. That's right. So, cheers. I don't know, I've not got a glass. <sighs> Lovely. Right, I'm just gonna sit back and drink some wine. So stay tuned, because there's more cooking still to come. Right, while I'm here, uh, a couple of folk asked for some shout outs. So, Thomas, we shout out for you. You know, he was commenting. Robert Scott, uh, you'd ask for a shout out as well. So, we shout out for you, Robert. Right, burn it on. So, light's starting to fade now. Uh, go right, I reckon about another maybe half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and it'll be, it'll be dark. But it's getting darker earlier, I'm doing it. Winters are coming. Winter's coming. Oh, fingers crossed we get some snow. Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? I did see there was a wee bit of snow kind of up north last kind of few days. A lot higher up, but obviously with the hot tent, I'm, I'm not going to be humping that up at Monroe. Uh, but hopefully we'll get some snow this year. Fingers crossed. So I've still got the, the dinner to cook. So, stay tuned, because that's going to be good. Oh, spaghetti bolognese. You, you, you just can't know like spaghetti bolognese. Comments below, do you like spaghetti bolognese? I do, I love it. I love it. Uh, you just see a big, uh, I don't know what kind of bird it is. Or one of these birds of prey. But it's supposed to be it's supposed to be 70 mile an hour winds tonight. night. We'll wait and see. It's been a wee bit blustery kinda the day, but it's I wouldn't say it's been that bad. I wouldn't say it was 70 mile an hour winds. When I was out a couple of weeks ago uh, with Johnny Explore Scotland and Kevin raving about Scotland. Oh, that was a wild night. Wild. But see, I think I woke up in the middle of the night. I was in my, ha I was in my hammock with two in my hot tents. I woke up in the middle of the night, my, my tarp had blown off. It was like 70, I don't know, I'm saying 70, maybe about 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Lashing rain. I woke up. Wondering why I was getting wet, my tarp had blown off. No good. But it was all good, because I uh, sorted it, jumped back in, good to go.
But we'll do a wee bit of cooking later, like I say, Italian tonight. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, mmm. And then, I'll probably just kind of sit back. I don't think I'll be that late tonight. Uh, well, I say that now. <laughs> but you never know. But I don't think I will be. I think I'll be a reasonably early night. The things to do tomorrow, so I'll maybe get up tomorrow and I can't tell a lie, I've still got some square sausage, some eggs, and some Thai scones left, so I may just have another fry up in the morning. And then tomorrow very much time to go home. I might uh, I might get out tomorrow at some point. Maybe I've got something else to cook. I know I do a lot of cooking, but hey ho, I'm a hungry guy. Oh, and I've been uh, I've been tagged in a curry challenge. So I would have done it. Uh, I would have done it tonight, but I'd already prepped stuff for tonight. So I'll possibly do that next week. Maybe do the do a wee curry. I've been told her to do it with scratch, but Big Stuart, the Scottish blunder, he cheated. it, He's, uh, he, he got his out of a jar. I can't tell a lie, I might just do that as well, but I might just, I might go the full hog and try and do it with scratch, we'll wait and see. But that'll be next week. Still got this week to go, so we'll get that cooking. Maybe I'll wait, I'll probably wait till it's dark. Once it starts getting dark, then I'll... I'll fire the stove, can I really can I fire it up, stick the Dutch oven on, stick the pasta on, and we'll have spaghetti bolognese and this secret thing that I've made for the Dutch oven. I'm actually wondering now, I'm just I'm just hoping that it actually fits in the Dutch oven because it's it's quite a big it's quite a big thing. That's that's all I can say. Well, I'm sure I'll manage it. <laughs> but you know me. Well, I'm just enjoying sitting out, sitting out, chillaxing. <sighs> Brilliant. You just cannot beat this. Good for the soul, as they say. Oh, another wee shout out, a wee shout out for uh, Dragon Outdoors, uh, Welsh, Welsh guy. Sound is a pound. So he's given me a couple of shout outs. He's got a great channel as well. Likes inspiring folk to get out into the great outdoors, so you can't go wrong with that, can you? So, big shout out for Dragon Outdoors. That's the light. The light's definitely starting to fade now. I think what we'll do, we'll, uh, now that it's getting dark, I think we'll go in and we'll start cooking spaghetti bolognese. Mamma mia! Spaghetti bolognese time. So, first up, I'm going to use uh, the Zebra 14 inch. So, I'm just going to stick some water into that. Boil up the pasta. So we'll stick that on first. Let that heat up. Right, what I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna heat up the the Dutch oven. And then we'll show you we'll show you what we're putting in it. Right, now all the Dutch oven seating up, we'll put the pasta in. Right, 
Right, pasta's cooking, so let's go in the Dutch oven. Whoa, you can see this bad boy. So I prepped this earlier on. What I'll do, I'll kind of flip back to when I was prepping it. Just to show you what's all in it, right? But, oh, this is going to be a beast. Right, so it's a whole cob with onion, garlic, uh, love pack butter, we've got salami and mozzarella cheese. Mm, a tasty snack rooney So I'm hoping if I stick this in the Dutch oven that'll all melt in and well, that's going to be a little bit like a sharing tear. He said I won't be sharing because I'll be eating it all myself. So I'm going to, I'll flick back just now and I'll show you the prepping it. Uh, just before I come out, stay tuned folks, dinner's still to come. Right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna stick this under there. I've got the fats in. Got the fat in no more. Right, it'll be in. And then a little fit one totally, but that'll do that. Good to go. Right, the pasta's ready, so what I'm going to do, cheat a wee bit, made this a uh, bolognese mince before I come out, but hey ho. Love that, a wee mix round about, with my, with my makeshift spoon. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit used, but I reckon that will taste pretty good. That along with that, uh, that big bread thing I've made, I reckon that will be good to go. So we'll let that cook away, maybe another 10 minutes, and I reckon we, we'll be cooking with gas. See this is ready. Hot, hot, hot. Right. The grand opening. Oh yes. Look at that. Oh, nice and melted. Lovely jubbly. So I think it's time to get stuck in, what do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Well, I don't know about you. Oh, that looks tremendous. Oh yes. Right, I think it's time for the taste test. Spaghetti bolognese. Uh, cheesy, garlicky, onion bread. <laughs> oh, aye. Lovely. Bad ball, don't mind if I do. Mm. Oh, what a munch. Right, as ever, it's time to dig in. Bring it back shortly. <sighs> Oof, I'll tell you, I'm stuffed. The most uh, spaghetti bolognese managed half the loaf. But even that beat me. Oh, I'm absolutely stuffed. But fantastic. Oh. 
No, I must admit that was good. I think I would make that again. That uh, that cob loaf thing with onion and the mozzarella cheese. That'd be quite good for a grip cramp. Then everybody can tear off a bit. But I must admit, oh, it beat me. You know me, I can eat. But that, oh, I'm actually stuffed now. Mm. Anyway, cheers folks. It's been a good night so far. Like I say, probably going to have an early one tonight. I'm going to finish this wine, have another brew, and then I'll probably head off to my cup. But, it's only about 8 o'clock. Or ha no, in fact, it's not even. In fact, it's half seven. So, night's yet young. It's been a few gusts of wind, but I'll be honest. It's not been that bad. I've been out in worse. Been worse weather than this. So I'm just gonna uh, sit back and let my dinner digest. <laughs> oh, which I think it's gonna take a while because that was a that was a fair feed. But but I wait. Can't be a good scran, can you? I love a good feed. Gone are the days of pot noodles. Can't be proper cooked food. See when you're out. Like I say, you can cook it inside, you can cook it outside. You probably could cook that, uh, you could cook the, the spaghetti mince as well, for scratch, out here. But I just thought the night, just for easier cooking it. Just, plus I had that big bread thing, I don't think I'd have fit it much more on my stove. Oh, oh, that's like, I really have them stuffed. Anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and drink this pinot. Sit and chillax. Ah, right, half ten. Pinot's all gone, so you know what time it is. Time for a brew. Time for a brew. That's a bit of chocolate digestives. So I've enjoyed this wee solo camp, it's been good. Well, I've been quite surprised. I've been there 70 mile an hour once. There was one there last night when I was out. There is tonight, it's not really that windy at all. There's a couple of wee gusts in that, but fine. Oh, they love a brew. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna stoke up the stove. To be honest, I was the going because I want to test that new mat out. But ugh, I'm just gonna stick some wood in it anyway. But I'm looking forward to trying out that new climate uh, static V insulated mat. So I've got that plus that uh, Leviathan 900 bag. So. I reckon I'll not be, put it this way, I'll not be cold tonight. I was just going to bring out a wee, a wee kind of mountain tent the night and not bring the hot tent at all. But I just love this hot tent. <laughs> it's just great. And see, bonus, see, see, we're having to cook stuff and you're cooking a lot of stuff. Having the wood burning stove was just brilliant. And all I had was a wee gas stove or a wee. One of these wee kind of foam stoves, just you've not got the, the same space in the top of it to cook as many things. Oh, lovely. But I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna drink this, then I'm gonna get into my bed. So, I'll bring you back in a minute once I'm in my. Scratcher.
Right folks, that's us uh, in the bag, so oh, I can feel the warmth already. Even this mat, I must admit, feels quite comfy. Uh, I can actually feel the kind of heat reflecting off it already. So, big difference compared to the, the sleeping mats I've had in the past. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have one wee more brew. <laughs> I like my brews. I'm going to stoke that stove. And I'm going to crash out. So, we'll bring you back in the morning. Uh, but, I'll just leave you a wee last view of the, the wood burning stove. Because there's nothing beats it. It's just lying in your bed at night and just watching the, the flames kind of flicker away. Fantastic. The joys of a hot tent. Right, let's fall it up. Well, we're up. for good measure. <laughs> right, and what we'll do with that, we'll catch in a wee minute. <sighs> Pure heaven. The joys of hot tenting. If you've not got yourself a hot tent yet, you need to get one. Hot tent a stove. Oh, you'll never be cold again. Not that I'm ever really cold anyway, but it really is, there's just something about it. <sighs> Snugs are bugging a rug. <laughs> right folks, uh, we'll catch you in the morning. Good night. Hey right, folks, it's half three in the morning and it is blown up the way. Around the 70 mile an hour winds up here. It definitely is just it's wild outside. Absolutely wild. I think that wind's actually just woke me up. But hey ho, it's all good. So I'm just gonna go back to back to sleep. Hey folks, 7 a.m. Still blowing a hilly. So get up, get the other gear back to the car. Back to the tight back to the car. So it's definitely I think it was going to be wild last night, but definitely wild now. It's definitely about 70 mile an hour winds because it's actually blowing a gale. But it's been a good wee night. It's still dark, so I'm behind the back of the dark, so I'm probably going to do much more at all. I'm maybe just going to get back to the car and maybe say goodbye, but I think I'm going to get a little bit of a back. I'm going to get back to the car and I'm going to get back to the car. Catch you. Whew! Hey, back at the water. Oh, that's wild by the way, absolutely wild out there. But, good wee night. So, I'm going to head off down the road. Still dark, eh, but, oh, why worry. So, as ever, if you like the video, give it a wee thumbs up if you don't mind. Eh, hit the like button, which is the same thing. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the wee bell for future notifications. I will bring you back at the next adventure. Thanks for watching folks. See you in the next one.